Hello and welcome to Best Camper Sales located in Stanwood, Michigan. Today we're going to take a quick look at a Gulfstream Vista Cruiser 23 RSS. This is a small 26 foot 1 inch camper from the bumper to the tongue. It's got one little slide out. It's 10 foot 6 inches from the ground to the top of the AC. It is one piece fiberglass roof from the front all the way to the back. And it is fiberglass sidewalls, uh, fully laminated and vacuum bonded aluminum cage construction it's just under 4,000 pounds dry weight so it's extremely light um, double axle still so you don't have as much sway as with a single axle which is nice and you have a power tongue jack on the front uh, it comes with two 20 pound lp tanks it's got a power awning off the side there with led lights and here's a look at the front battery goes down there uh, it does have a plug for solar this is a little solar panel to sit next to the camper to triple charge the battery you have a pretty spacious pass-through storage in the front a couple lights it does have manual stab jacks in the front and back and here's the power awning you got two outside speakers and then the vent over the stove, the vents out the side. Furnace exhaust. There is a slide here for a TV mount to slide down on there. And your hookups and outlets for a TV out here. Pretty nice rims on the wheels. And these are 205-75 R15 Ridgeway Sport. You have the solid steps that flip out from behind the door. Uh, Vista Cruiser also uses the Asdell composite panel in between the sidewall, which is water resistant, mold resistant, mildew resistant. Um, it's just an extra layer of protection. And back here you got a bumper. It is backup camera prepped. So a uh, backup camera will go up there in that mount. The plugs are already there. There's the LED lights on the outside and the inside. Over here you have a port for an outside sprayer hose. City water connection, cable satellite hookup, and your six gallon water heater. This is gas or electric. So again, it will run off gas or electric. See if I can get this closed with one hand. It is a 30 amp camper. It covers the cord, goes in there. This is a black tank flush. So after you dump your tanks, you can leave your valves open, hook a hose to that, and it'll rinse out the black tank. Um, another nice thing, well, nice to some, is Gulfstream is still using the gas or electric refrigerators. This is the back of the refrigerator. Um, so they have not switched fully to 12 volt yet. Some people prefer the gas or electric if you're going to be off the grid camping and you don't want your battery to drain after a couple days. You can just run it on gas. And there's your little slide out. Fresh water tank fill is here and the other access to the pass-through storage. Now, if we step inside here, you'll see you have a rear dinette. Um, table can go down in between the booths to make a bed. You have a nice rear window. You have nice windows on the sides. Uh, blackout accordion blinds. You have two speakers up here for your radio, which is right there. That'll do AM, FM, Bluetooth. You have some storage up here above the dinette. And what's also nice is on the slide out, you have a sofa. So you have a dinette and a sofa. Um, this will jackknife down into a bed. And you have this nice little storage in the corners of the slide out. Your control panel is down here. So 
So that's going to be your slide, running your slide out, your awning in and out, your lights, your water heater, your water pump. Um, now you may notice here it says gas heater. So to use the water heater on electric, it's actually out on the water heater itself on the outside where we were. There's a switch to turn on the electric. And up here there's a spot for a, I guess, TV. <laughs> uh, it's a very small area here. So I don't know how big of a TV you're going to be getting in there, but there is a mount right here to slip a TV in. And the hookups here for the antenna and the outlets. You have a nice deep stainless steel sink with a high-rise faucet. Some storage up here. You have a couple lights above there. Uh, and Vista Cruiser, you always have this funky blue LED light running underneath the kitchen. A couple drawers, some more storage. You have a full oven and a three burner stove with a stove top. You need more countertop space. Uh, regular microwave. And here's going to be your gas or electric refrigerator. Norco. Pretty standard. Over here's your furnace thermostat. The AC controls are up here. So it's right on the AC, it's a Furion AC. Uh, gets pretty cold in here. Down here are your fuses and breakers. And then you gotta walk through bathroom area to the bedroom. So you got a nice big stand up shower with a skylight and a curtain here to go across. And then your bathroom, your toilet is in here. Foot flush toilet, countertop, medicine cabinet vent above um now one unique thing about this is so this door closes the toilet area but actually if you swing it open this way you can actually latch it here so it closes off the whole bathroom area then in the bedroom here you have a walk around queen bed there is storage underneath You've got wardrobes on each side storage above uh, and there is a TV mount already on that wall that comes out and swivels. So that is a quick look at a Gulfstream Vista Cruiser 23 RSS. Again, this is Best Camper Sales located in Stanwood, Michigan. You can check this camper out and others on our website at bestcampersales.com. Again, that's bestcampersales.com. Or you can call us anytime at 616-229-1664. Again, that's 616-229-1664. Thank you for watching.